Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Sa video na to, tatalakayin natin kung ano yung tinatawag na JavaScript promises or promise. So yung promise allows you to handle asynchronous operations in JavaScript. So ano naman oh, yung asynchronous operations? Yung asynchronous operation takes um, a longer time to finish. So usually mga API request, ganun. And uh, JavaScript allows you to do other things uh, than waiting for those to finish. So uh, ganun din for promises. So, you will be mostly working with those in React. So, kaya nyo dapat pag-aralan yung promises, yung async and await, no? which is itatackle din naman natin sa future. Um, and if I'm going to explain to you JavaScript promises, no? uh, like you're five years old. So, let's say for example, we humans, no? tayong mga tao, gumagawa tayo ng mga promises natin or own promises. So, depende sa actions natin, if yung promise na yun is matatapos, or hindi natin magagawa. So ganun din yung concept sa JavaScript promises. Okay? So tandaan din niyo na meron itong tatlong state. So first one is what you call pending, meaning hindi pa na-execute yung promise natin. The second one is resolve, meaning naging successful tayo or natapos natin yung ating promise. And the third one is reject or rejected. 'Di ba? So meaning merong lapses or hindi natin natapos yung ating promise or may nangyari um, along the way. Okay, so tatandaan niyo yun. So, how do you declare promises in JavaScript? So, let for example, promise sorry, promise equals new promise. Okay? And then, meron kang mga callback uh, arguments dito. So, you will have reject or re resolved and reject. So, paano mo sila tatawagin? Ganito lang. Resolve and reject. Okay, and then out of function, and then you can enter your arguments inside the curly braces. So, let's say for example, we have const i na equal siya sa promise na word. Save, and then um, we'll use ternary operator. So, i equal to promise. Oops, na mali ako. Um, okay, we will resolve it if it matches the word promise. So, resolve. Ayan. And then, reject if hindi magkakamatch. So, paano natin tatawagin si promise? So, we can do um, promise. Okay? Okay? Makita mo dito si promise. So, si promise, meron pang mga additional methods yan kasi meron kang promise dito. So, pwede mong i-catch yung value dito gamit yung dot then and dot catch. So, promise dot. So, makita mo meron ka ang dot then. Okay? Oh, sorry. Dot then. So, anong mangyayari? Or anong uh, bakit nandito si dot then? So, nakita nyo, pag nireserve na yung promise dito, mapupunta yan sa dot then na block. Okay? Meaning, ipaprocess nyo pag successful yung ating error. But, pag nareject, saan ito mapupunta? Meron tayong other method na tinatawag, which is dot catch. Ayan. So, dito mapupunta yung uh, promise natin if na-reject siya or nagka-error. So, let's log something on the console for example. So, that then. So, arrow function. Console.log promise was resolved. Okay? Then, sa catch natin, pwede natin i-log then So, arrow function. And then, uh, console.log promise was rejected. Okay. So, let's try to run this node index.js. And bam! Makita nyo na, promise was resolved. Kasi, promise is equal to promise. So, tinatawag niya yung resolve na function natin dito. So, let's try if mali. No, mali. Promises. Is, okay? Then, i-run mo to. Makita mo, promise was rejected. Kasi, hindi tugma yung promise sa promise and then na-reject niya. So, napunta siya sa dot catch. So, this is how you work with JavaScript promises. So, see you on the next video.